Hi students, let us continue with the graph uh, traversal. So in the previous video, I explained about the depth first search. Now let us see the breadth first search. So the main difference between the DFS and BFS is DFS is the, the data structure we use the stack and the BFS we use the queue. Whereas in DFS, we use the backtracking, but here we don't use that. Now let's see this. Uh, what is this BFS? BFS is also produces spanning tree. The final result of BFS is also a spanning tree. Means a graph without loops, you call it as a spanning tree. We use the Q data structure. So whereas in DFS, we use the stack data structure. But in breadth first search, we use the data structure Q with maximum size of total number. So whatever the size, whatever the number of vertices that are present in the graph, based on that vertices, you are uh, implementing the size of the Q. Now let's see the algorithm. Based on this algorithm, we will implement the example. First, define a Q size. So based on the number of vertices in the graph. So how many vertices are present in the graph? Based on the vertices, you just first define the size of the Q. Select any of the vertex as a starting point. So just like DFS, just select any of the vertex for traversal. Visit that vertex and insert into the Q. So first element was inserted in the Q. So Q means first in, first out. Whatever the element first you inter, uh, inserted, that should be out from the Q. Visit all the adjacent vertices of the vertex which is at front of the queue which is not visited and insert them into the queue. So here what I was saying whereas in DFS you have to visit one of the vertex which is adjacent to that vertex. So just take one of the vertex. But here in the queue you have to visit all the adjacent vertex and you have to place in front of the queue. So next step. Step 4. When there is no new vertex, let us take if you, you enter all the vertices. When there is no new vertex to be visited from the vertex at front of the queue, then delete that vertex from the queue. So when there is no uh, elements uh, vertex that you have to be placed on the queue, just delete the element. That is the first in fast out element in the way. Just repeat the step 3, 4 until the queue becomes empty. So whenever the queue becomes empty, then produce a final spanning tree by just removing the unused edges. So whatever the unused edges that are present in the graph, that should be removed. So here I'm taking the same example, whatever I have taken for the DFS, so that you will compare the structure of the uh, graph, how the same graph will be represented in DFS and BFS. So let me explain with example. So select first whatever the graph I am taking. Uh, so just select vertex A as a starting point. So here I am marking as a blue indicates the visited vertex and the black is or unvisited vertex and red or the deleted from the queue. So select A as a starting point and place it on the queue. So the queue size, what is the size of the queue? Number of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, total the size of the queue is 7. So visit all adjacent of A which are not visited. So just uh, in the DFS, you are just placing whatever the adjacent vertex, you are just taking one of the vertex, adjacent vertex. But in the uh, BFS, so in the queue, you have to just select all the adjacent vertex of the A. What are the adjacent vertex of A? D, E, F. So just insert newly insert visited vertex in the queue. D E D E B and just delete A. So whenever you're inserting the adjacent vertex, just delete A according to the algorithm. Next, visit all adjacent of D. So now I'm taking uh, this is the first in is D. So visit all adjacent of D which are not visited. So from D, there is only A and E are there, but they are already visited. So according to all algorithm, if already visited vertex are there, so just delete the D from the queue. So I deleted D from the queue. Now E. E is the adjacent vertex we have to check. Visit all edges. So you have to remember this all. Visit all edges which are not visited. So from E, what are the non-visited edges? So B is visited, D is visited, A is visited, C, F are not visited. So just insert into the queue and delete E. So whenever you insert into the queue, you have to delete that from the queue. So after B, you have to place C, F. Now B, you have to check the B. 
So, B is the adjacent vertex now. Visit all adjacent of B which are not visited. So, from B which are not visited, okay, uh, C, F is already visited. Okay, the blue lines is already, uh, blue circles is already visited. C, F is already visited. So, there are no vertex to be visited. So, just delete B from the queue. Now, next adjacent is C, you have to be checked. Visit all adjacents of C. Now I am checking the adjacents of C or E, F, G, B. So E, B already visited and deleted. F is already visited. So G is not visited up to now. So just place G on the queue and delete C. If adjacent vertex is not there, delete the adjacent whatever the vertex that you are checking that you have to delete. If it is adjacent vertex is there, also, you have to delete the element from the queue and place G here. Now, the adjacent vertex is F. So, from F, all vertices are visited now. E, C, G already visited. E, C visited and deleted from the queue also. F, G is also visited. So, there are no vertex to be visited. So, just delete F from the queue. Now, you have to check from G. Visit all adjacents which are not visited. So, there is no vertex that has to be visited from G. So, just delete the G also. So, whatever the path you are selecting. So, from A to D, you are just giving the adjacent paths. Next, you are taking the B. So, from B, already the visited paths are there. So, from E, you have visited C and F. Okay, from C, you just visited the F. The visiting vertices, you have to give the path. So, the final BFS is... So, Q became empty. So, stop BFS process and the final result of BFS is a spanning tree by removing the unused edges. So, this is the final spanning tree of spinal spanning tree and the BFS breadth for such graph. Thank you.